Okay, so I thought I'd give it a go on trying to get Windows XP on the Orange Pi 5. I'm using Batacera, this is the version I used in my most recent video, and I've put the Windows XP ISO in the DOS folder. So when I head over to DOS and launch it, you can see that the Windows ISO shows up. I can click on it and it does launch in DOSBox Pure. And I have had Windows 95 and Windows 98 running on a Raspberry Pi 4, but I haven't tried it on an Orange Pi 5. And I thought rather than do Windows 95 or Windows 98, let's try XP. Someone was asking about it recently and I wondered if it had installed the same. I need to go back first of all. So press home, start and select. And when you select the ISO, if you press and hold, uh, if you see down the bottom, it says game options and you get this and then we've got advanced game options so I'm going to try and replicate the settings I used in my lacquer video but I'm not sure if I've got all the same modes so game rendering and shaders I didn't have any of that emulated CPU performance I used 486DX2 but I'm kind of thinking of going for Pentium because uh, I had a Pentium 75 with Windows 95 that was my first PC so yeah, I'm going to go Pentium 100. So RAM size, I'm going to go with 128. Graphics chip type, let's go with Super VGA. Going to leave these and see if they're picked up. CPU type. Weird, because I've already selected that really, but let's go with that. CPU call method, ah, dynamic was used in the previous video okay i don't think there's anything else uh, so let's go with those settings and launch it so we had boot and install operating system on the windows 98 that came up at the top but we don't have that uh, this might not work i wonder if i need to set it up with 98 let's just see what happens with setup okay Try this one. Yeah, so I don't have boot and install a new operating system, which I did have on 98. So if I run setup now, so my S doesn't work. Why does my S not work? Well, maybe I need to put in the Windows 98 disk and start to do that and then use XP. I doubt it'll work, but let's give it a try. So I've uh, put Windows 98 SE and I'm gonna give that a try. So let's click on that. Yeah, now we have this different option, look, boot and install new operating system, which we don't get with the XP one. So let's click on that. We'll go with 5.12. And let's do boot from CD-ROM. Start Windows Setup. So enter to continue. And enter again. Does look nice with this CRT style interface. Okay, copying files needed for Windows Setup. Oh, it looks like it's working. Oh well, fingers crossed. Wasn't this fast back in the day. 30 to 60 minutes of estimated time remaining. That's super quick. I've, I haven't got any of that out. That's, that's how fast it was. So next. Yeah, this is super fast. So typical. Install the most common components. So some of the keys aren't working. So I'm just going to put ooh. United Kingdom, next. So I've got to go out, so I'm going to leave it screen capturing so I can work out how long it took. Pop my name in, accept the license, and just put the last digit in using the on-screen keyboard because my Logitech keyboard doesn't work. You need a keyboard with a scroll lock. I found this out in my Raspberry Pi video. So let's hope this key works. Yes. Let's get rid of that and do finish. Oh, it's still going. Okay, so restart. Such a cool screen. The mouse is nice and responsive. Nearly got the date right. And it, how does it know the time? 
must be through the internet. Surely we're not going to get internet support straight out. I can't remember in the DOSBox one. It was a while ago when I did it. Oh, not what I wanted to see. Oh, it's still there though. Oh, and we're in. Okay, unfortunately I'm going to have to shut it down because my daughter needs the kitchen to cook tea. Uh, so I'll come back to this. But it's looking good. It's now safe to turn off my computer. But only if I do it this way. So it's a few days later and uh, I've actually had to reinstall it because the installation uh, basically got to a point where it was locking up and I couldn't get it to work. But just to show what does work on it, uh, we do get quite a few errors. So you can see I can go through programs. This is the minimal version because I thought maybe try the minimal version and that might be more reliable but it's coming up with the same errors. Uh, so you can see what's installed on it. So things like CD player, sound recorder, internet tools, system tools. So all of that seems to be all right. I think Notepad probably works. Yeah, and I can save that. Can I save that on the desktop? Let's see if it does let me close that down. Yeah, so you can see that's working and it's opening up. So certain things are absolutely fine. It's more Explorer that it seems to struggle with. Right, let's see if CD player launches. Yeah, CD player launches. Obviously, I haven't got a disc in there, or not at least not an audio disc loaded up. So this is Explorer, and act, well, actually, it didn't come up with an error that time. And I have got Windows XP here, and I'm going to see if I can install it with XP. And I found that if I double-click on this, it comes up with an error. But if I don't double-click but right-click and explore... It's obviously using a different component to do this, and it does let me go a bit further. Uh, so you can see here, documents, program files, windows, it lets me search around, and it's pretty snappy, it's, it's pretty responsive. But what I really want is in here. So I have a setup here. Install Windows XP. Now I'm not sure if this is gonna work, but I have read that you can update uh, from 98SE to XP and it changes it to FAT32 file system, not FAT16, so I have no idea if this is going to work, but I thought I might as well have a look at it and see if it will work. So I've just clicked on it. Starting Windows Setup, collecting information, and obviously this is like a virtual machine, so it's not, it, it's not original hardware, so who knows what's going to happen on this. I definitely showed uh, Windows 95 and Windows 98 running on a Raspberry Pi 4 just to give you an idea of that and how to install games uh, and get various different things running. But you may have a problem on this on Orange Pi 5 because of that Explorer error. I guess if you're determined enough, you go through the DLLs and things uh, and see if they can be replaced or updated. Now, it's obviously preferable to have a clean install, but XP wouldn't let me clean install. But on my mid-2010 MacBook, which is running Windows 10 at the moment, uh, I actually ended up going from Windows 7 to Windows 8 to Windows 8.1 to Windows 10. And that way I've got the NVIDIA drivers to work. And it works absolutely fine. I still use it to this day. Okay, so I'll take that as a positive. 60 to 90 minutes, installation type upgrade or new install. I'm gonna to have to go with upgrade because the new install definitely isn't gonna work with DOSBox Pure. I think. So let's go with next. Accept the agreement and next. Ah. Okay, fingers crossed. Because some programs or devices might not work with Windows XP, so it will create a report of known issues for your computer. Well, I've gone for the minimal install, so I haven't got very many programs on there anyway. So let's just go with that. Oh, no, I'm going to have to skip those because I don't think I've got internet as long as it doesn't give up well, it looks like it's not giving up Windows XP professional sports a visual design that combines a sleek look clean lines and appealing colors with a task oriented design and exceptionally streamlined navigation it was a cool operating system oh no look <laughs> Am I going to contact Microsoft Technical Support? I don't think that's going to help me. Oh, it's a shame. 
I wonder if it carries on. You know, sometimes when things crash like that, they actually carry on in the background. And I can see this is still moving. Well, I guess I've got the clean install option. Okay, so I think this animation probably just happens regardless. So let's just hit OK. Okay, let's go back. Will it let me go? Oh yeah, so it goes more about the setup. Perform additional tasks, check system compatibility, install, and see if it will let me do a clean install. Maybe it will format it and everything. Another copy of this application is already running. Oh. So if I could do control Alt delete I think it, um, it quits out. So let's avoid that. System information. Hardware resources. Components. Software environment. 64 meg of RAM. What tools have we got in here? DX Diag. It's multitasking, all right, isn't it? DirectX drivers. Okay, well, all that. It, it's. Oh, DOS crashed. Oh, okay. Oh, it's properly crashed, is it? Yeah, my mouse has stopped working. So, let's. I'm going to have to do Control Alt Delete, which usually just. Yeah, quits it back out and restarts. Okay, so run installed operating system. Okay, so restarted and uh, I found that if I do explore on this as well, this seems to work all right. <laughs> well, it did before. Let's try that again. Explore, yeah. Uh, and so this must be the XP disk. Autoplay. Yeah, install. Oh, I've got to wait for it to collect all the information again now. Okay, so we're going to go for new installation. And next. Accept. Oh, I've got to put the key in again now. We've got an English UK. We have. And next, uh, can't download the, the uh, can't download the files. Next, please don't come up with the same error. Should be a clean install from the disk, so it should be able to do it. Or copy and installation files. Okay, restarting. I don't know what's going to happen after this. I'll let the timer run out rather than press escape. It's the suspense. XP professional setup. Oh, go on. You're joking. Why did, they make, why did they make me wait that long? So I thought I couldn't end it there and I need to really put some Windows files into Windows 98 SE just to show that that's working all right. Uh, so as you can see here, I've got a USB hub with all sorts of things plugged in. I've got this is a Dell keyboard. Uh, which has got a scroll lock button. It's very dusty because it's from upstairs from my spare room. I've just brought it down just to use it with this because my Logitech keyboard, some of the keys don't work uh, and I haven't got a scroll lock button on there or not that I know of. Uh, so also in this hub, I've got the Batacera SD card, 64 gig SD card, which I've been running Batacera from. This is my Xbox 360 controller and this is an extra USB stick, which I don't think I need in there at the moment, but it's in there. Uh, so let's go into Ubuntu. So I've got a folder here on the desktop, which I've just got a few things in. Uh, so I've got a few games, uh, some of them are 7-zip, so I've, in, I've put 7-zip in here as well. Spectrum Emulator, PaintShop Pro, which I've already installed. But just to show how it works, because it seems to only read zipped folders uh, in DOSBox Pure, which is fine, uh, because all you need to do is right click on it and compress and then just pick .zip, you can see, it, it. I think it defaulted to tar.xz, but pick .zip and hit create, and you'll end up with something that looks like this, so win.zip. Now the Batacera share partition here is the one where you need to put all the data, uh, but I only seem to be able to get it to work with Thunar, which you install with sudo at install thunar i've already got it so i don't need to do that but if i do sudo thunar 
I can launch it. So you can see here, Batisera share, if I click on that and go to ROMs, scroll down to the DOS folder, which is here, double click on it, and you can see what I've already got in there. So I've basically copied this WinZip into here. Uh, these are the bits that were on there already, so this is XP uh, and this is Windows 98, just the ISO, so what would have been the original CDs that you would have booted the operating system from. So now that's in place, I can close that down and boot Batasera. So I'm booting up from Batasera now, I've taken out the USB stick. Okay, so let's launch MS-DOS. Click on the Win folder. This is that zipped file. And then run installed operating system. And Windows 98 SE. And down to Windows. Because it still thinks I want to install Windows XP even though it's told me I can't. So we can close the launcher down. And you can see I've got 7-zip here already. Uh, let's just double click that and install in the normal way that we would with Windows 98. And you can see everything seems to run pretty much as it would on a, on a quite fast computer, in fact, back in the day. So if I go to Start Now and Programs, 7-zip is there, and you can see 7-zip File Manager. So if I wanted to unzip something, I could navigate to this folder and find something that was zipped. So say for instance, this Sega Rally, and I could copy that. I think I've already got one on the desktop actually. Yeah, I have, I've already got one on the desktop. I can right click and extract files or extract here. And you see that all of that seems to be working. Although it's come up with loads of errors. And then you end up with your Sega Rally folder, which you can launch things from there. I don't think this one launches though. Uh, what have I got? Original Rally and Rally. Well, let's try Original Rally. I don't think I tried that. No, not Win32. No. Right, so if I go back to, I've got Commander Keen here. A uh, very old game, but if I right click on the executable and open, you see that it launches. Press a key and I'm in. New game, normal game. And let's grab the controller and just show that it's that it's working and it seems to be working at a nice speed. Yeah, on this bit it works, looks fine. And we can move around. My joystick's a little bit sensitive. <laughs> Come on. That's better. You can see that I can direct the ball and move around and start to pick things up. Yeah, happy with that. Oh. So, escape, just to show how quick that it quits out. Okay, well at least I've shown something working and the fact that you can install programs. Oh, I didn't show PaintShop Pro. Uh, so programs, Elastomania worked, but it was terribly slow. Uh, it worked much better on the Pi. I can't remember if it worked better in uh, DOSBox Pure or DOSBian, um, but I've definitely had it working really well on a Raspberry Pi. So if we do file and open. And let's just look in the Interstate 76. So if I open this file, you can see that it's all working. Okay, so I hope all this helps. I couldn't get XP running, but I might try it again in the future. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.